Hello everyone, I'm sitting here with the 2010 UNC Homecoming King and Queen, Chase Jones and Monica Doyle. Woo! Yay! <laughs> we want to welcome y'all to the show. Thank Thanks. you. And you know, we want to just have a little conversation about how it was her running for Homecoming King and Queen and how that process went. But first, I just want to talk to you, get to know a little bit more about you. So, awesome. Um, where are you from and majors? Who goes first? Me? Ladies, <laughs> Ladies, always first. All right, um, well, I'm Monica. I'm from Wilkesboro, North Carolina. Um, really, really small town. Mm -hmm. That camera, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a really small town, and um, it's about 30 minutes before you get to Boone, mm -hmm. or Appalachian. That's how I explain it to a lot of people. And um, my major is mathematics. Wow. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's fun. Gosh. I'm in my last mm -hmm. math class right now for my major, and woo, So spring semester just... Yeah, that'd yeah. be good. Cruising. That'd be Cruising. Really good. Yeah, I'm so excited about just being done with my major, but um, not that I don't like it. That's <laughs> great. Um, yeah, so that's about me. Um, Chase Jones, I am a business major in business school here from Greensboro, so not nearly as cool as the place as Wilkesboro, but <laughs> nice home. We call it home. That's great. That's great. So um, I kind of want to jump on in and talk about homecoming and. What actually made um, both of you decide to run for Homecoming King and run for Homecoming Queen? Like, you know, did anyone tell you, oh, you should definitely do it? Was it something you planned since you've been at Carolina? Like, um. what was your inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna set up a little story for okay. everyone. Um, I'm interested in hearing this. I haven't heard this before. So. Oh, I mean, it's, it's nothing big at all. But um, <laughs> I was basically sitting at my lovely apartment in Chapel Ridge, and um, I had already, like, deleted one of the emails about like running for homecoming or whatever, because mm -hmm. I get uh, like so many emails per day and I just didn't feel like reading anymore, so mm -hmm. I just deleted it. But then um, the Sunday night before all the stuff was due Friday, mm -hmm. uh, they sent it out again and I was sitting there with my roommate and I was just reading it and I, was, I just looked at her and I said, Malia, what if I ran for like homecoming queen? And she was like, you should totally do it. Mm -hmm. And then I started reading about like all the requirements that was... Um, that you had to turn in with your application, which was a lot. Yeah. Um, but luckily, I've gotten really close to a lot of the professors here, mm -hmm. um, mostly because being a math major, I have yeah. to attend uh, <laughs> office, office hours, hours quite a bit. Yeah. 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 I can only, I can only imagine. <laughs> to, to hope for good grades in the at least the homework section. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I sent out an email that night to. Um, three professors, just asking them if they would mind um, just coming up with a little something to turn in for homecoming. And um, within the next day, they all emailed me back and said, sure, I'd love to. And so then I never, like, biggest fear ever is letting other people down. Mm -hmm. So once I got the emails, I was like, well, I have to do this yeah. now. And I was really kind of excited about it because my best friend, or she's one of my best friends, Carly Brantmeyer, she actually won last year. Yeah. Um, and so I'd seen her go through the whole process and stuff. And I'd never, I don't know, I just never really thought about doing it before. But once it was in my face, I was like, yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. I, I don't have any cool <laughs> stories again. Um, no, I, I got kind of inspired because it, the whole service project about it was like the, the interesting part for me. So um, last year we started this, our service project on the baseball team and we had no student involvement, like whatsoever. We, we raised our goal and our money. It all benefited the children's hospital. But like, we didn't have anybody else do it. It was just us. So I thought the best way to do this was to let students know, and whether that was me running around in the pit yelling at them about my service project, it ended up working successfully. So that was, the, that was the whole point for me running, was just not, I didn't really care about the, put my face on the, on the posters and everything, because that was kind of the, the, the low points about it, but it was cool just to be able to have a platform to talk to everybody. That's great. Yeah. I really like how you, know, you already had a project, you've already done it once, so now you wanted to keep doing it and just get more students involved. Yeah, right. absolutely. That was the like sole reason I ran. Yeah. And hopefully, and it was awesome because through the whole process, I got a lot of people saying, yeah, like this is all a great idea. So like in the spring, we shave our heads um, like on the baseball team, and I actually had four females come up and was like, yeah, I'll shave my head with you in the spring. Like, four girls. Like, Unfortunately, one of those was not me. Yeah, um, I'm waiting on Monica to sign up. <laughs> I'm waiting on her to sign up. He's working on me. Yeah. yeah. So, I remember I was walking through the pit, and I was, like, texting just always. And I see, like, hair. Oh, my gosh. And then I see people shaving it's their disgusting. hair. And I was like, oh, okay. Like, 
like, yeah, yeah. I thought it was so cool. Though. I felt bad for the pit that day because we did have a ton of hair just <laughs> yeah. blowing through it. Like, Whoops. Yeah, but, Sorry, UNC. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, <laughs> like, did y'all come up with any types of stress? Like, how many hours did y'all put into this campaigning? Like, posters and A-frames and... Well, all that. Um, I can... I shouldn't say this, but I think that I can pretty confidently say it, that I probably spent a lot more hours simply because um, the girls this year had to go through a preliminary round. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that had never happened before, like, in the history. Like, last year, I'm pretty sure there was eight girls on the court, on the field. Um, so this year, with the preliminary round, um, we had, like, a whole nother round of voting. That It took it from 15 girls down to three. And um, But what's funny about it is that we had the same amount of money as the guys did for their like sole week of publicity or whatever. Um, so that was tough. So I did a lot more. I spent a lot of hours, just um, a lot of the freshmen and stuff. Like I never voted for homecoming um, until I knew the person running. And um, it's not just like knowing someone through friends or whatever, but like knowing them personally. So um, I spent a lot of time down on South Campus just like introducing me, to, like myself to the freshmen and telling them about my service project and like how they could help. And um, thankfully I'm a fitness instructor or whatever, so I teach a lot of classes and a lot of the underclassmen come to all the classes. Yeah, yeah, so I was able to like speak to them and everything, so that was where a lot of the time was spent. Um, I did print out like a lot of like flyers and stuff, but my flyers always had my service project on it as like the sole thing. and. Um, as I said, like, when I started the process, it wasn't, I would be lying if I said I did it, because I was like, hey, there's a service project component, like, mm -hmm. I want to do this service project, but once I decided to run, that's when I was like, okay, what's my service project going to be, and I went through, like, I don't know, I probably had a list of 10, and every day I would just, like, list down, like, positives, negatives, and like how much it would affect other people in this community, and narrowed it down to um, coordinating high school slash middle school prom for the Chapel Hill Carbo students with mental and physical disabilities, which um, I have a big heart for, and I'd, I haven't been able, since I'm involved in so much on this campus in the past three years, I haven't been able to work with students with disabilities like I did when I was in high school, because I was actually um, president of the Peer Helpers Club in my high school, and our big project was we coordinated our high school prom for the children with disabilities in our high school. So I've actually done my project on a much smaller scale before too. And um, I just thought it'd be a great way um, bringing all the schools together and like just creating this community between um, both Carolina students here and the students there, but also the families of the students with disabilities. So I'm really excited about it. Awesome. Yeah. I can totally relate. I know I did a lot of community service in high school. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. yeah. Get your hours up. And when you get to college, like, I know freshman year, it's just so hard. Yeah. Adjust, so I know this year I picked up my community service hours a lot. But yeah. I know I can understand. Yeah. That. Yeah. How I'm much really stress excited. did you go through with being on the baseball team and? Yeah, that was the. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I was like, I approached my coach one day. I was like, Coach, you, you ever had somebody run for homecoming king? And he was like, no. I was like, well, I might have to miss a few hours of practice here and there. But he was great about it. The, the great thing about the guys is we made this kind of contract between ourselves to not do anything until the girl had gotten elected. So for the first part of the month, we had to worry about it, and which was awesome. <laughs> um, but as soon as fall break got back, it was just like a whirlwind. And I, I spent most of my time, and I feel bad because my professors kind of missed me in class the weeks before. But I just went, I would just go on Student Central and, and look at the biggest class as possible and just go and to speak as many poss people as possible because I didn't really care about the, like the stand in the pit and stuff. It was mostly just talking to people mm -hmm. about what we were doing. And that's what works. I mean, obviously yeah. it's just like that one-on-one -on -one communication yeah, so between people. My grades dropped, yes. But, you know, we're yeah. raising money for yeah. childhood cancer and... <laughs> I, I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to plead my case at the end of the semester for my professors. So I think that's a. I think it's a worthy cause. Yeah. So. Way I look at it, in ten years from now, what's gonna matter more? Yeah. Like, right. So. Like better grade. I used to be on the veteran board, and everyone's like, they're tired of people coming out and talking about homecoming. It's like, you know, a little bit. You know, it does get a little bit annoying sometimes. But then once you really get into like what people's projects are, it's like, yeah, you realize why, um, why everyone's so passionate. About right. It, so. And I can't tell you how many times, like, when I went up to people. I would introduce myself first, but then I'd say, 
this is a service project that I want to do. And if I win, like I get funding for it. And then they look at me and they'd be like, well, you're the first like actual candidate that I met a and B you're the first person that like talked to me about your service project and not just right, right. vote for me. Yeah. And so it was, um, I don't know. It was very eye opening and I love meeting new people. Yeah. <laughs> really? Couldn't tell. <laughs> no. Yeah. Like first day of classes for me are like heaven. No, I'm not kidding. Like I just walk in there and I get so excited about like all the new people that, that I'm gonna meet. Yeah, Chase um, <laughs> makes fun of me for it a little bit, but uh, it was it was great. I loved it, but it was stressful. Now, how can people or the students at Carolina faculty staff get involved with your projects? Um, talk about pubbing and yeah. Don't let me guess. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> ladies first. Okay, just don't let me talk too much because I tend to do that. Um, so I actually had um, a professor email me before, like, I, it even got narrowed down to the final three. And she emailed me um, saying that she wanted to, like, back me because um, she has uh, relatives with mental and physical disabilities. And um, it was just so funny because I had her, like, three years ago. And I haven't talked to her since then. So it was just um, very awesome, I thought. And she also, like, wanted to help me, like, look into also other grants that I could apply for to try to get more money because five hundred dollars is generous yeah. but when we're talking about a function such as a prom and um probably a lot of students mm -hmm. it can cost a little bit more than that yeah yeah, yeah. right True story. yeah and i'm also trying to do like the donate thing i think make it another mm -hmm. thing but um i know another group does that so i don't want to conflict with them um don't want to step on any toes um but yeah, and just being close to my professors, especially like I'm a teaching fellow, so I have a lot of um, educational teachers also. So I think that's a good outlet for me. And I also tutor in a lot of the schools um, around the area. So yeah, I do, which is uh, great. And I'm really excited to see where it goes. Yeah. Okay, so I am looking for anybody to help. Um, we started last year, like I said before, with no student help. And it was awesome because it was like really you know, close to home, but this year we're trying to make it much bigger. Mm -hmm. And so any student involvement we can get from helping volunteer to we're coordinating people to want to shave their head. So if you want to have a bad haircut, just like I've got right now, <laughs> we're all open for it. So um, my name is Chase Jones again, and it's my email is just chasejones at unc.edu. It's really original, I know. But seriously, <laughs> we're trying to make this big enough to where it happens every year, and this can be associated with UNC for the future. And all the money goes right to the pediatric oncology unit at the Children's Hospital. So it goes right to kids with cancer. And I've seen the firsthand impact that it does have because it's real tangible stuff. It doesn't go towards research. It goes towards juice boxes. It goes to, like, mm -hmm. stupid little things that actually make a huge difference when kids are going through chemotherapy. Yeah. Playstations, gas money to get kids back for treatments. So, like, funds that don't get covered by... Uh, the research it funds that don't get covered by the building uh, supplies. So, right, and it's actually real stuff. I, I've seen it firsthand myself, mm -hmm. and every time I go back to the Children's Hospital, I get thanked by the nursing staff and the doctoral staff by just the, the extra benefit that we gave them last year. And so, that just makes my project so close to home to me, but also knowing the fact that it's in our backyard. Like, mm -hmm. Children's Hospital is right there, mm -hmm. and we as students can make that impact. So, Anybody that wants to sh come on board, like we are wide open. So. Is this when I pub too? Yeah. <laughs> hey, which one do I look at? Okay. <laughs> um, so my email is, I'm going to spell it out for you. Um, it's M E D O Y L E at email.unc.edu. Um, and so, yes, we definitely need people to help the day of the prom and um, leading up to it, definitely. And because there's a lot of like checking in and out that's going to have to happen. And also I want it to be like a social event where like we as students at Chapel Hill like interact with the students with mental and physical disabilities at the prom. So I don't want it to be like this separation factor. Like I want it to all be like intermingled. Um, yeah, so just email if you're, email me if you're interested in, um, helping out with it. I'd love to help your help and I'm sure Chase could use it too. Yeah. Okay. And one more question. If you could um, give advice to the next person who wants to run for homecoming king and the next person who wants to run for homecoming king, what's the one thing that you would tell them to be sure they do? 
that you look out for or that you wish you would have known? Any of you? Um, just... I guess for me, I wish I would have known the amount of time that was involved so I could have uh, better readily prepared for it. Um, yeah, so that was like a big thing. Um, but also just especially um, if you're a woman and you have a preliminary round again, it was really hard for me to get back out there the second round. I was like, I don't feel like like talking to people again. I mean, not that sounded wrong. <laughs> I don't feel like telling people to vote for me again. Does that make sense? And I didn't want to, like, go up to the same people and I'd met them before but not remembered because I, I feel horrible when I do that. Yeah, and so it's just, um, just don't give up. You can, <laughs> you can do it, yeah. And just stay true to, like, your platform and service project and make that why you're running completely 100%. It's not about you. Um, it's about this university and this campus. So that's what I would say. Yeah, that that was the biggest thing. We I didn't realize like how much of a negative connotation that homecoming king That's and queen true. bring. Yeah. And I understand why. Like most freshmen come from high school and it was a popularity yeah. contest and odds are they didn't win it. Mm -hmm. And after like talking with people, I kind of broke through that. And that was my whole goal was not to make this about a popularity contest because in, in our eyes, it wasn't at all. Like yeah. this was our passion like I regardless if I won or not we were still going to the event in the spring mm -hmm. so knowing that mindset of most people think that it is a popularity contest break that by not trying to you know flood people with slime, signs in the pit right. and not just singing at them but actually having a conversation so hopefully I mean I, I think that works because obviously we're sitting here but yeah. I mean we'll see no thank you oh that was so and fun Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks so much.